Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to show you a very groovy way to combine half tone and pop art style uh, to make a nifty, nifty image that you can use as a as a gift or a, a painting if you want or whatever you want to do with it. Anyway, first of all, just got a picture of my girlfriend here, and the first thing I want you to do is quite simple is come down and pick a colour. I'm just going to pick the colour red and I'm going to then come up to filter and come down to sketch and then you're going to choose half tone pattern and this will bring up this menu here and you can play around with your size and your contrast to, to get the best effect that you that you want but I, th I found a good a uh, good set in here too, and uh, yeah, about f about let's see, about forty, forty six, forty seven. Go with forty seven now, and just click OK there, and you'll see it's given us uh, the half tone pattern with the with the dots, so that's a nice little effect there. But what we're going to do is just combine this into a pop art style and make four of them on the same image. So the way we're going to do that is, uh, first of all, we're going to have a look at the image size. Now the image size is 500. I've made sure to resize the image uh, beforehand to make sure that it's a nice round number, 500. And what we're going to do is uh, we've also got the number 344 as well. So I'm just going to do 344 times 2 just because I can't count properly. So we've got 688. Now the reason we need to know this is because we're going to select new and we're going to do a new layer and we're going to put the width as a thousand which is our original image times two and the 688 for the height. Now that means that we can fit four of these images onto onto this uh, single single sheet here. So if I come back to my original image I'm just going to come down here and select uh, the hue and saturation set adjustment setting and it's in here that you can change the, the colour as to which one you want. So bit of jiggery pokery here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and say merge visible and this will give us the image that we want so we can do control A, control C and come on to our new document and paste it into there and then if you hold down the shift key you should be able to lock that in down there into the let's say the, the bottom half of the picture and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a step backward step backward again and this brings us up the the menu again for the for the hue and saturation so Click the adjustments and look for your new colour. I'm going to go now with the colour, say a nice light blue. Come back down to layers and right click and say merge visible. And then control A, control C, come back to the original or the new document and paste it in there. And there we go, we've got the two there. Come back again to our original image just going to use the keyboard shortcut which is control alt and z and just come back again to our hue and saturation and this time I'm going to change the colour up and take it to the, the other side and I'm just going to take a nice yellowy orange gold back down to layers right click merge visible control a control c copy come over to our new layer and just paste it in there again move it uh, until it comes in the right position and then back to our original image same again a couple of steps backward and then up to the adjustments layer and now you can move the, the tab along and that's quite a nice striking green so I'm going to take that right click 
merge visible, control A, control C, come on to our image and paste it and there we go. A nice pop art half tone style.